in our last video we were explaining about the timer implementation part of the code we talked about basic timer operation period value calculation discussed about some mistakes we may do in that case then hl handles timer registers and also explained about how timer program reacts when counter register overflows in polling method and interrupt method also and then we stopped at explaining gpio section therefore we can continue from there if anybody is here who does not have any clue on what i am speaking now please go and watch the project implementation which you can see on top right button or you will find that in the description section as well if somebody has missed the last part of this video again you can click on same top right button and also you will find the same link in the description section so without wasting let's dive hl gpio toggle pin was our action on timer interrupt since this is a gpio related method we have to configure gpio peripheral in a more understandable way we can see about this in the stm cube software first then we will come back to the code section so you know our led is connected to pf5 right so first thing to do here assign the direction of the pin so i am clicking on the pin so you will see a lot of option because this pin can show alternate actions related to different peripherals if you want to configure this pin as a adc input channel click on adc to in13 same pin can act as a dac output spi clock timer channel gpi input etc we will see different scope of this in future lessons if you don't want to configure this for anything just click on reset state but for our application we had uh, configured this as a gpio output so i am clicking on that again next go to system core and then click on gpio then click on gpio tab here you will see pf5 here but there is another pin right pc13 what is that that is for our push button on the nucleo board we had done a project earlier using this pin if you want to watch that again uh, link is on that top right magic button okay cube software by default added this button for time being let us not bother about it just click on pfi we have different configurations options appear down below first one is gpio output level this is the default state of pin when the program starts in our case led should be off initially so we had kept this as low you can keep it high if your led wants to be glowed initially next is gpio mode we have two options here output push pull and output open drain we can understand what are these things in push pull mode there are two transistors which will drive the output to either high or low as per the signal received from the mcu driver in open drain there are only one transistor and we have to use one external resistor to avoid the floating state of the pin since one resistor to be connected for open drain always go with push pull mode right and push pull is the default state for output pins in most of the modern mcus next is pull variable this is basically useful when we configure input pins since we don't use any pull up resistors we can select no pull up and no pull down maximum output speed is the slew rate of gpio switching means speed of transition of gpio pin from low state to high state or high state to low state if we increase the speed then power consumption will be higher Basically high speed is useful when we are using GPIO pins for some special communication channels unless otherwise please go with low speed we have this user label field here actually this is not mandatory if you want to identify the pin easily you can assign some labels like green led push button etc so we have completed the configuration portions it will be more interesting if we can understand the code side also so let's open the main.c file for using gpio pins we have to initialize that like we have did for timer mx gpio init is the default function which will be generated by cube software let's go inside the function gpio init type def is the configuration structure for gpio one thing to note that we cannot see a handle as we have for timer next is clock enabling as we know every peripheral needs a clock for its operation here stm has enabled clocks for all the gpio ports a b c and f in our case we need only gpio a so we need only this line but since stm has done that by default let it be like this next is defining initial state of gpio pin we already know about hl gpio write pin function the first argument is port we are going to use ld to gpio port is the label they are used for port a next is the pin number already we have seen user label for gpio pin 5 they have used that here 
Next is state of the pin required. In our case, it was low state or reset state. Next section of code is the configuration of some B1 pin. It is actually our push button. So since it was generated by Cube software by default, let's skip that for now. Next portion is configuration of our LED pin. As we see for timer configuration, here also we are using one GPIO structure to configure all the parameters of GPIO pin. We can go inside this structure. So you will see all the parameters available for this pin configuration. Back to our init function. First one is pin number. Then we have pin mode. We selected push pull or PP mode. Next is pull mode. Here we have no pull. With all these parameters, we can initialize the GPIO peripheral using HL GPIO init function. Next is external interrupt part. This is also auto generated by Cube software. We can skip that portion as well. So we did GPIO initialization. Now simply we can use HL GPIO toggle pin function to toggle the LED. As a summary on how to configure our GPIO pins using Cube software, you can follow these steps. First one is assign GPIO pin direction. Then we have to define all those pin configurations like state of the pin, mode of the pin, pull requirement of the pin and speed then user label which is optional one. Then next one is implementing GPIO actions which we will be doing in the code portions like uh, toggling, setting or resetting of the pin. So this is all for today dear friends. If I am going fast or slow while explaining please let me know in comments okay. Long way we have to go together. Hope you all will be with me so we can meet again with another interesting video. Bye guys.